Rick, first and foremost, we're on the eve of the debate. Uh, your thoughts on Jim Prentice? Well, in the debate, Jim Prentice has to come out and he has to discredit Brian Jean. Why does he have to discredit the Wild Rose leader? You know, that's the conservative alternative. A lot of people don't like Prentice's budget plan and they like Jean's because Jean has no tax hikes. So he has to discredit that and say it's cotton candy, it's not real, it doesn't work, it's just made to get your vote. And his plan, even though it's not quite as nice, is actually a plan that can work. So that's what he has to do right away and he has to do it tough and definitively. So what does Brian Jean have to do? Well, nobody knows Brian Jean. So what he has to do first off is he has to be likable, he has to look competent, he looks, has to look like somebody who could actually run this province, and he has to stick to the message. They're going to try to knock him off the message, and the message is, look what the PCs have done. They've wasted your money, they've pocketed your money, and now they want more of your money, and we don't. We think there's enough money to go around and to run the government. He's got to keep hammering, hammering. trust so trust trust you're talking to me about trust Redford the Plains the Wild Rose defectors trust nobody in the next two weeks is going to fully trust any politician especially provincially with the things that have happened so what's going to happen I think is they're going to vote for the person they mistrust the least such is the sad state of politics in Alberta. Well, there you have it. That's Rick Bell. That's three rounds with Rick Bell. Thanks for joining us. We hope to join you again soon. Take care.